police in Dallas are investigating a shooting at the Texas State Fair. The park has been evacuated and Dallas police sources tell our sister station WFAA that two people have been shot, but no one is dead. Now Dallas police are confirming online that at least one suspect is in custody. No word right now what led up to this shooting. We will continue to stay on top of this story and bring you any updates as they come. Let's go, get out of here. Let's go, get back here. What you heard, saw? Yeah, so basically, we were in the Coliseum watching the rodeo, um, yeah. and we were actually about to start leaving. And that's when we heard that there was an active shooter, and people were actively running back into the Coliseum, um, jumping over rails, trying to get away. Um, multiple people were actually injured in there trying to get away. Um, the advice that we were given over the headset was to like go up into the crowd, like up, up into the stadium, and actually dug down and hide for cover because they were close to wherever we were. So that's what we heard. Well, what's going through your mind is this is all going on. Yeah, fear, right? Irrational fear, like concerned about my friends and everything like that. Wanting to get in contact with mom. She's an hour and a half away, right? Um, that's what was going through my mind, just really fear. <laughs> And so you heard something over the announcing system? Yeah, like over the announcing system. They announced basically that there was an active shooter, letting us know that we were in the safest place possible. But of course, when you know there's an active shooter outside and we're in a barn and the barn outside has like rails, people can jump those rails they were doing to get out. Somebody could easily do the same thing to get in, right? So that was like our main concern was like, well, what if he comes in this way? Because we don't have any idea about where he were. I think the moving forward of course you don't want incidents like that to happen but i do think there could be better correspondence between the people who have the fair and people who are inside coliseums like these so i think that there needs to be a better like better practices and safer practices for people who are here and obviously you know every time it seems like you go to a big event it seems like something may happen exactly. in, in the days we live in now right. when you go to something like this again is that something that's going to be kind of back in your mind right, like more. i think more so like just honestly staying prayed up Right, everywhere we go. Before we came out, I told my being friends alert. exactly being yeah, very alert, being being, alert, be, being sure. extremely alert. Right, yeah. um, trying our best not to be under the influence of anything. That way, we can stay on alert. Right, Absolutely. and looking for everything. So that's yeah. what we are all doing. You know, make sure we're sober because you just never know. Right, we know the headsets that we come out with, but we never know the headset mindset that people other people yeah. come out with. And it, 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 it makes sense to pay attention to everywhere you're going, everywhere you've been. Pay attention to landmarks. Pay attention to yeah. the people around you. Watch what they have on, their mannerisms, everything. So that's important. And is the State Fair something you guys come to every year, multiple times yes, a year? Yes, this is my third time yes. this year. Yeah, this times. is my third time this year. So I've had a great time every time. Okay. I'm Senior Corporal Melinda Gutierrez. Do I need to spell? Yes, please. M-E-L-I-N-D-A-G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. -E 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 so today at about 7.45 p.m., the Dallas police responded to an active shooter call in the tower building at the State Fair of Texas. The preliminary investigation determined that one man shot at another man. Three people were shot, all have non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect ran from the scene. Officers were able to locate him and took him into custody. A gun was also recovered. The individuals that have been involved in this have all been identified and the investigation is ongoing. So that is currently all the information I have available for you guys and an update will be pro provided once we have more information. Can you please so do the same thing suspect? in Spanish, please? No, sorry, but no. um, yeah. A little Spanish? I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to. Do we know the sorry. relationship for, um, No, we do not. What time was it again, I'm sorry? About 7.45 p.m. Was, was it in the food court? It was in the tower building, which is commonly known as the food court. Yes. So we're working, it's all part of the investigation on who is, is who as far as the shooting occurred, but it's still currently under investigation. Okay. As far as you know, no other suspects, that's the only suspect in this? As far as we know, they're still investigating, so that's currently what we have. Just to confirm, three people were injured. Does that count the 
We have we we have three people shot. That's a preliminary investigation. As soon as more information becomes available, we'll let everybody know. And are guns allowed in the, in the state fair? So that'll be information you'll have to get from the state fair. I know they do have the certain policies, so I'm going to refer that question to the state fair. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so very much for joining us. I'm Steve Pickett. We continue following breaking news for you from the state fair in South Dallas. Dallas police confirming shots fired, a suspect in custody. There are victims. All of this happening just a few hours ago. We have team coverage tonight with our Olivia Leach and Nick Starling, both there in the Fair Park area. Nick, we are going to start with you because police have now updated information regarding all of this, right? That's right, Steve. And we heard from police within the just past about five minutes, and they tell us that the police got an active shooter call here at the State Fair of Texas around 745 this evening happening inside the tower building. Now, as you know, in the State Fair Tower building is where the food court is, and there's a lot of people inside. And police tell us that somebody uh, shot uh, two guys, uh, one, uh, one uh, the suspect shot at another guy, and police say that they knew each other. And in total, three people are injured with uh, gunshot wounds. And we're told those three victims are right now in a hospital recovering. They should be okay in stable condition. That's what we hear from police. The suspect is in custody. Now I asked police if there's more than one suspect out there because initial reports just said that uh, one suspect is caught. But uh, police do confirm just one suspect as they know right now in custody. The suspect tried to run away from police, didn't go far. Police caught that suspect. Now we do know that the state fair is closed. After the active shooter call came in, uh, they evacuated the state fair. So nobody is here except for police. Everybody that's at the state fair is gone right now. I did so still very early in the investigation. This happened just at 7:45 this evening. We do know that the state fair ramped up security heading into this season. They have a, a minor policy. Uh, we don't know the ages of the, the suspect or the victims at this rate, uh, but they do have a minor policy. Anyone 17 years or younger have to have uh, somebody 21 years or older that come into the state fair after 5 p.m. Uh, and they do have a new weapons detection system where you basically walk in and it's supposed to detect any kind of weapons. And they do say the suspect had a gun and came inside the state fair. So there's a lot of questions surrounding exactly how the suspect was able to bring a gun inside state fair grounds. That's a big concern from a lot of people I was speaking with because uh, the weapons detection system is supposed to detect any kind of weapons anybody is supposed to have on them. Again, that is new this year. Uh, police didn't have any uh, response to that. Again, it's still very early in the investigation and state fair is directing all questions to Dallas police at this moment. So uh, Steve, obviously a lot of questions out here on how this all unfolded. But again, the suspect is in custody and three people were shot and recovering right now. And police do tell us that those three victims should be okay. But obviously a very chaotic scene. People just wanting to come to the State Fair to have a good time. It's a Saturday, a lot of people at the State Fair, and then this happens. But of course, we'll keep on top of police to get a little bit more uh, information about this shooting. I heard, you, uh, I heard you talk and ask questions regarding the concern about safety and accessibility to those weapons, Nick. We thank you. Uh, Olivia Leach, by the way, also continuing our team coverage, who also spoke to a lot of folks who were evacuated from the state fair tonight. Clear concerns for so many families and their reaction because this was deemed an active shooter and people were literally trying to find places to hide. Olivia? That's right, Steve. You know, what should have been a fun night for families and friends at the state fair was shattered by gun violence just a few hours ago. And of course, families and all the folks we saw running from Fair Park in the last two hours are rightfully traumatized by all of this. I'm going to step aside so you can take a look at where I'm standing. I'm at the main entrance to Fair Park. It's 10 o'clock right now. Normally, families and friends would be streaming out, talking about the moments they had, except 
now it is completely quiet. There is not many people here, just a few people leaving, a lot of staff leaving. And that's because, of course, the entire park was evacuated two hours ago. We reached out to a state fair spokesperson who told us that, of course, DPD has been coordinating that evacuation. They also told me about an hour ago that anyone inside the park still would be asked to shelter in place. Of course, a really traumatic moment for all of those folks who were still in there and who might not have been able to get out. We now know, as Nick confirmed, that everyone did get out of Fair Park. It is completely empty now. But I did speak to some fa a family who actually got separated in the chaos of evacuating. And this is what one woman said about her experience. We were walking to get food and maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 feet from us. Um, there were shots and everybody ducked, I think, at first and then started to run. And then um, people were starting to get trampled. And so I kind of <laughs> grabbed somebody off of my sister and threw her behind a, um, like, food vendors like in the in their back area and we uh, hung out there for a little bit until we could get a hold of my um, parents and my other sister and know that my nieces and my dad who's in a wheelchair were, were okay and we met went and met them so I mean I feel like there wasn't a lot like that we could see like shooter wise like we don't know who shot or whatever but we just heard everything and tried to get out as fast as possible Steve, as you mentioned, just sheer terror inside this park, a place that's supposed to be about fun and family, and all of that just upended by this chaos tonight. We're also getting reaction from a Dallas City Council member, Adam Bazaldua. He said in a statement on Twitter tonight that the park is being evacuated, of course, for everyone's safety. He went on to say, it's one thing to have a right to bear arms. It's another to have legislation like permitless carry that makes it easier for senseless acts of gun violence like this to be carried out in our state. Steve, of course, we're going to get reaction from a lot of different city council members and city officials in the next few hours ahead. But of course, we're really thinking about all those folks that were inside this park and were just traumatized by having to witness that, hear those shots, and then run for their lives, as you said, Steve.